Okay, Leviticus 11, 14 through 16. Um, and the vulture and the kite after his kind. Let's catch that. After his kind. The vulture after his kind. And the kite after his kind. That and connects the two. Which gives the right of the kite and the vulture after his kind. Okay? So, I'm starting with what Yahuwah says, the Father says, which is most and really the only important statement is what he says, okay? He identifies vulture at his kind, and in order to know whether something is of a certain species, they have to have a lot of similarities and characteristics, okay? Now, let's look at the vulture. This is a vulture, okay? Vultures, actually. And they're eating on dead carcass, okay? Hmm? All right. Let's go back. The vulture. That's what Yahuwah says. Uh, he in 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 this uh, holy uh, writing, he's declaring things that we should not eat. Just in case you're wondering, okay? Fowls we should not eat, okay? And after its kind. Now, I want to deal with um, after its kind. Look at that. That's a chicken. Uh, definitely after the kind of the vulture. His face is definitely made for um, blood. That's why the feathers are not all over the face. They're just just precise enough where it can eat and pull and peck the guts and the skin and whatever else it needs to eat. Okay? That's the reason why you made them that way. Now let's look at an article. And in this article, let me scroll up so you can see the top of it just in case you want to look it up yourself. Okay? Um, the West Done A Price Foundation. Okay? Um, let me scroll down. This is what Yahuwah had showed me. Uh, just <laughs> just made me scream okay so let's look at this here chickens have featherless face for a reason it is easy to keep clean after indulgent in flesh we see the same physiology in wild avian scavengers like vultures so let's look at the vultures again and let's make sure we pay attention to the characteristics and we pay attention to <laughs> you okay elongated necks beaks uh, pulling that flesh and let's remember what Yahuwah says okay okay all right so there you have it the vulture and here you have definitely someone who's an expert at their creature that they produce yearly. Uh, he says that chickens have a featherless face for a reason. It's easy to keep clean after indulging in flesh. Now, you know, for those of us who always assume that chickens ate grain and corn and yes. maybe some lettuce, <laughs> it may hurt your feelings, you know, that these animals eat blood of other animals. And you know, as Hebrews, we don't supposed to drink blood, right? That reminds me of why it's so not right that um, JC would require people to eat his flesh and drink his blood in, symbol in symbolism. But, you know, yeah, that's sort of kind of not right. But, teach his own. You can be disobedient if you want to. All right. All I can do is put the information out here. So, this guy continues to speak in regards to. Uh, the hard time he was having because he was trying to have GMO, um, GM, GMO free food in his location down there in Potomac, Maryland. However, he was running low on the things that his chicks wanted. So he says here, um, he said, uh, I recently brought 
um, I don't want all black. Real Allen Red Pullets from my farm in Potomac, Maryland, and began feeding them a local custom blend of mix of corn, soybeans, oats. And he continues to talk about how he wants to offer eggs to his customers. There were under five dollars per dozen. So he went to cheap, cheaper option, and he said that when he went to cheaper option, <laughs> yeah. within two weeks the chicks were beginning to eat each other. The more aggressive chicks were tearing at the weaker ones from the outside in. And 50% of the batch had bleeding tails from being picked at. Now these are chicks eating on chicks because the poultry mix he was providing for them for their nutrition was not sufficient. Um, and he goes on to say uh, here, the chicks, <clears throat> he's thinking that the pieces were too large for the chicks to ingest and digest well but they continue to camelize I guess they got a taste of the blood and they was like yeah this is what we like um, he just continues to go on exclaiming the severity of the situation so he had to do something <laughs> and guess I mean this is something that uh, some people just probably could, can't believe but hey it is what it is he talks about he says um let me see here let me highlight for you he says by but by my own personal taste test the pale softness of the bean this is the mixture he had purchased it was apparent that they had not been roasted luckily it was mild December mid-December and the white tilt root was in full swing he's talking about deer uh, Suburban roads in Maryland this time of the year are lined with deer carcasses. He says, I picked up a fresh one. He got off the side of the road, skinned it, and began tossing pieces to my chicks. They went crazy. This one carcass lasted me about one week, enough time to get down to Sunrise Farm. So he continues to tell you, whoo, they really love that deer meat. And, and actually, the deer meat put uh, the chicks back on track as far as their nutrition and their weight. Um, I could go on and on and on this guy's um, article but down here you find out that I mean they were talking about just all the different stuff that animal that these chicks could eat and it was quite grotesque okay I will admit roadkill I mean pause video if you need to see that I mean it was just <laughs> more than I can bear okay enough to make a person say yes you do I will obey all right so we see what Leviticus says, what Papa says after his kind. Uh, the American Association, let me enlarge, uh, enlarge this for you right quick so you can read it. You may have to high definition it, okay? Um, hopefully you can see that. And it talks about diabetes. Uh, African Americans are, well, Hebrews are 1.8 times more likely to have diabetes as non Hispanic whites, okay? And then it says 40. 4.9 million or 18.7 percent of all African Americans age 20 or older have diabetes. It talks about uh, amputations, it talks about kidney disease, and it talks about blindness. Okay, um, so these are the curses. We can't get away with what Jaffa can get away with because Yahuwah says we can't. Okay, now let's look at this clip of what they entice us with. <laughs> yeah to the line sheets to drain and keep them warm in the 250 degree oven while you fry the rest fried chicken a classic dish for your repertoire so you hear that right a classic dish for your repertoire but what does Yahuwah say and that's what's most important and you're going to have temptation on every side let's view some temptation on every side that you need to learn how to resist there you go raisin cane bye bye raisin cane Kentucky fried Bye bye Kentucky Fry. Oh, Popeyes and that dip. Bye bye Kentucky Fry. And the last one but not least, churches. C H U R C H. <laughs> Sells a lot there. Well, this is the family it comes from. This is what Yahuwah says. This is what consists uh, with the curses, what happens to us. And we need to be obedient to what Yahuwah says. Yeah? 